No Goblin. Ah, the city of Roundabout, the big twist, the city that always spins. If you can drive through here, you can drive through anywhere. Now, you might notice that things are a little peculiar around here. Well, that's because this is Roundabout. Everyone does things different around here. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Hi there, uh, Geo Rigio Manus? Meet Giorgio Manus, the world's first revolving limousine driver. Great. Well, I'll be the instructor for your limousine operator's test, so just keep things straight and quick, and this will be over ASAP. Hmm. If only our pal here could see inside Giorgio's head. See? There's only one way this chauffeur drives. And it's with a twist. Giorgio never stopped revolving. As a kid, Giorgio learned to move with the spin instead of fighting it. People, small obstacles, nothing could stop Giorgio from twisting and turning. Well, except for buildings, lampposts, you know, things taller than a limousine. B but against everything else. Well, I guess you passed, barely. Here's your driving report. You'll get one of these after every ride. Enjoy the thrilling world that is the luxury transportation industry, I guess. With a limo license, the world was Giorgio's- Hey kid, the name's Mickey. Mickey the Mechanic. I've never seen anyone drive like you just did at the DMV. Can you show me some more? I need a ride to my shop down the block. This spinning thing is even better from the inside. This, this is the future of transportation. Wow, kid. Have you ever thought of going pro? Look, if you ever want to take on the city, just come back to me. Hell, I'll even help you out with parts. You and me, kid, we could go all the way. Okay, okay, you just met me, it's a little weird. But kid, seriously, think about it. I'll be right here at the garage. Hi, driver? I'm sorry, my car is stuck at the stupid mechanics and my kid is late for school. Can you give her a ride there? Thanks. Communicating silently was Giorgio's bread and butter. With just a quick look at the stare on that adorable munchkin, Giorgio knew they needed to make a detour. He's in his there, let's go pick him up. Kelly lives over there. Yay! Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Alas, all good things must come to an end. Giorgio needed to get these pint-sized pals to school. Let's take the bike 
stuck to school. Heading to the school's baseball field. Oh, it's you. Yeah, so I teach both driving and baseball. You want to make a big deal about it? Those kids aren't going to base those balls themselves. Let's go, Giorgio. I know, the school spends all this money on learning and buildings, but they can't even put a baseball stadium on campus. Priorities, am I right? than I thought. I don't know if what they're doing even counts as baseball. Okay kids, listen up. Hey, listen up! I don't know what you're doing here, but in this town we play baseball. You see this chauffeur here? Even Giorgio can play better baseball than you. Show him. Giorgio had never used a limousine as a baseball bat before, but there's a first Home run! Alright kids, see? That's how you do it. Now get out there and give me ten laps. Come on, move, move, move! <laughs> Giorgio, the school's demanding that I teach soccer now. Apparently this isn't America anymore. You seem like someone who knows what soccer is. 
can you show these kids how to bounce a soccer ball or whatever it is that you do in your sport? Giorgio! my date down the road. Well, uh, I mean, we're seeing a movie after, but, well, she's just meeting me. Oh gosh. Oh no. Oh, she's allergic to flowers. Damn it, Steve, you ruined everything. Hi. Uh Let's let's go, driver. So, uh you like movies? Yeah. Movies are okay. Do you like movies? Yeah. I love movies. What about you? Uh Thanks. So, do I pay you now, or later, or do I- Oh! Thanks, Giorgio! Wait, you got a limo to drive us to the drive-in theater? Damn it, Steve! Giorgio was beginning to get the hang of this whole limousine for hire thing. Little did Giorgio know that a curveball was about to land in the back seat. Thank you, thank you, thank you! Are you, you're Giorgio? Oh, thank goodness you're here. I'm running a little behind. You see, uh, Julia's wedding is at 11, not 1, so we need to book it. Let's go, Giorgio! Thank you so much. Hey, 
Hey, so... I'm only in town for a little bit, but I could sure use a groovy driver like you to show me around. And hey, having someone in uniform take me for a spin around town would be a pretty groovy bonus, right? Bless you, my child. We appear to have something of a problem. I am meant to be joining two people in holy matrimony, but we appear to be missing the groom. We must fetch him, post haste. Oh, I knew this would be a bad one. This gentleman seemed disreputable from the start. Such a shame. The bride is such a peach. She could definitely do a lot better. I think I see him. I pull past him and I'll drag him. We got him. Head back to the chip. Well, thank you, my son. This hungover wreck will marry the lovely Julia, and it's all thanks to us. No, no, I can't do this. New plan, Giorgio. I drop this wreck off in front of the church and you drop me off at the bus stop up north. Sound reasonable? Oh, don't give me that judgmental stare. Would you marry these two if you were in my shoes? Well, I had a good run, I reckon. What's done is done. Lord, forgive me for abandoning my flock. Uh, good luck to you, Giorgio. Well, I suppose it's time to move again. I hear the mountains are lovely this time. Bonjour, Giorgio. No, no, I will not be riding with you today. I am, how you say, watching from afar. I have heard stories about a new driver with a certain je ne sais quoi. Care to show me your magics? Bidding? Where did you come up with such a novel idea? Aha! But how do you change direction? Oh, that's all! Very clever, Joshua!
Good for bad.